So in this episode, we're going to talk about something called a header. And the reason we're going to do this is because we did talk about headers and paragraphs in early episodes, but we just mentioned it. We didn't really go into it that much. So in this episode, we're going to focus on doing that. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and go down into my main content, like the section part down here, and I'm going to go below the video we created. So I'm going to go ahead and create a, another div box here, another container for some other stuff. I'm going to go ahead and call this one. Well, I'm going to give it a name inside a class and I'm going to call it index dash text, or we could call it index dash intro. That sounds better. We can go ahead and copy this and just go ahead and put it inside our style sheet. So we can actually style this box. I'm going to go ahead and open up the code. And in here, we're going to go ahead and give it a width as a hundred percent. We're going to give it a, we're not going to give it a height. We're actually going to give it a padding. Actually, let's go ahead and wait with that. Cause I want to show you guys exactly what we're going to do with the padding. So we're just going to go ahead and give it a width and we're going to go ahead and give it a background color. Now, just for now, a good rule of thumb or not a rule of thumb, but a good trick is when you're creating something on your website and you just want to see where the stuff is, you can give it a background color as something really, really obvious. So I'm going to go ahead and make this one red. I'm going to save it. And do notice that it did not give it a height. And like I said in the last episode, when you do not give it a height, it's going to automatically adjust to the content. So now that we have this, I'm going to go ahead and go back into my index file. Inside my index intro tags, we're also going to put in a wrapper. So we're going to create a div, give it a class equal to wrapper. Now inside the wrapper, we're going to go ahead and create our header. The way you create a header and the header, by the way, is a title is by creating something called a H tag. So you open up the code, write H, and then you need to give it some kind of number. Now the number we're giving it is going to depend on how important the header is. For example, H1 is going to be the most important title on the entire website. A rule of thumb is also you should not have more than one H1 tag per page. So if I were to create something really important here, let's say, well, we might not have it as an H1, but maybe an H2, which is the second most important thing on our page. So we're just going to go ahead and create this one. So I'm going to make sure I do open and close it. And inside here, we can put some text. So if I were to say this is an intro title, exclamation mark, then we do have some text going on inside a header. Now underneath here, we could actually create something else called, called a paragraph, which is inside something called a P tag. And just like before, you do actually need to open the P tag and close it. Then we can go ahead and put some text in here. Now, when it comes to putting text, I can actually show you guys a little trick, which is to go to a, uh, a, a website called lipsum.com. And going in here, you can actually go ahead and generate some random little ixum Lorem Ipsum, if I can say correctly, Lorem Ipsum text, which will allow you to get this random gibberish. And this is very good to use as a placeholder when you do create a website and you need to, you know, borrow some text because you might not have, you know, any kind of text thought up that you want to use yet. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy this, go into my code and paste in some random text. I'm going to go ahead and save it. And then we can actually go ahead and refresh our website. So as you guys can see, we do have the red background and we do also have a title here. I'm just going to go ahead and zoom in for you guys. So we do have a title down there and we also have some random text. Now I want some spacing from the top and bottom of where the text start and finishes. And instead of creating a height inside my div, because I want it to be flexible, what I can do instead is say, okay, well, we need to look at the height of the div, which right now is the height of however much the content is filling. So, when I take the height, I would like to add an additional space on top and bottom. So inside my code, in order to do that, I need to go into my style sheet, go down into my index intro box that we created, and then I'm going to go ahead and create a padding. Now the padding, we can either do in two different ways. Either we can say padding dash top and set it equal to a certain pixels. So let's say we give it a 80 pixels. I'm going to save it. If I refresh my page, you guys will notice we do actually get some space between the text and the video, like so. 
Now, another way to do it, instead of saying padding top or padding bottom, left or right, is we could just go ahead and eliminate the dash top. So right now we're creating a padding, and right now it's gonna be padding top, right, bottom, and left. It's gonna be 80 pixels. So if I were to save this, just to show you guys, it's gonna start looking like this, which is not quite what we want to because now we can actually scroll sideways because we do actually have 80 pixels going to the side. We do not want that. So if you go into our code, instead, what do you need to calculate? This right here is the same thing as multiplying this four times. So top, right, left, bottom, right? That's how we're counting it. So if I want to have 80 pixels from the top, I'm gonna to keep the first one. Now, I don't want anything from the right side, so I'm just gonna go ahead and write zero pixels. Now, from the bottom, I do also want 80 pixels, so I'm just gonna ahead and leave that one. But from the left side, I also do not want anything, so I'm just gonna write zero. Saving this, refreshing the website, you'll notice that now we can't scroll sideways anymore, and our text does actually appear, you know, a little bit away from the top and bottom, meaning that now we can have something that looks quite nice. Now, we talked about using four different values here. Let's go ahead and just delete the last two because doing it this way, it will come from top, right, then it's gonna go back to the beginning, bottom, left. So this would essentially be the same thing as what we just wrote. So if I save this and refresh, you'll notice that there's no difference in here. So this is how we create a spacing from the top and bottom. And we're just gonna go ahead and leave this for now. We're gonna create, uh, we're gonna delete the background color so we can actually see what we're doing and refresh. Now, when it comes to creating the header, let's go ahead and go back to the header again. Um, when it comes to creating the header, as a default, a lot of headers do have a font weight to it. So if I want to eliminate the font weight, I'm gonna go ahead and go down underneath here. I'm gonna, actually, I'm gonna go ahead and copy this one we just have, go underneath here. And then after the index intro, I'm gonna say space, then I'm gonna say H2. So we're saying inside our index intro, we have a h2. Then I'm gonna go ahead and style the header here. So in order to eliminate the font weight, we can just say font dash, let's see if I can actually write this correctly, font dash weight and set it to 100. Not pixel, not, don't include pixels or anything, just go ahead and write 100. So after we do this, I can go ahead and refresh my browser, and as you guys will notice, the text down here is actually a little bit bold now. Let's go ahead and zoom in so you guys can see it properly. The text here is a bit bold, so when I refresh, it's gonna turn into a text that looks very similar to our paragraph down here. It's actually very identical right now. So this is how you eliminate the boldness of a header. So now, because it's a header, we do of course want it to look a bit different. So we're gonna go back into our style sheet, and we're gonna say font dash family to make the text a little bit different. And we can say Lato, because we did actually include the Lato font in an earlier episode, so we're gonna just go ahead and use that one. Then, I can actually go ahead and go back to the font weight, because I do not want it to be this slim, so I'm just gonna go ahead and say, actually, let's go ahead and say 700. Underneath the font family, we can say font size, because maybe we want it to be a little bit larger than it is right now. We can say font size as 24 pixels. Then I'm gonna go ahead and save it, and I'm gonna go ahead and refresh my browser, and you guys will notice that suddenly it changed. What we can also do now is we can actually go ahead and center our header. So what I'm gonna do down here is I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and say text dash align center. And then it's actually gonna to align to the center of our screen. So going back in here, you guys will notice that it's in the center. Now we might want to create some spacing underneath the text. And when it comes to text, um, when you want to create spacing, at least when it comes to text, if you want to create space sideways, you need to use margins. If you want to create spacing from the top or bottom, you need to create padding. It's just kind of a rule of thumb you need to follow. So once we go into the H2, we're gonna say padding, colon, then we're gonna go ahead and say 40, actually let's go ahead and say zero, Pixels, actually we just need a padding bottom because that's a lot easier. So we're gonna say padding bottom. And then in here, we're gonna go ahead and say 10 pixels. So going back into our code, you'll see that now we get some spacing. So this is essentially how we create a header. And if I go ahead and zoom back out to 100%, you guys will see that we do actually get something that's a bit more distinctive. So 
once we have the header, we can actually start creating the paragraph down here, which we'll do in the next episode. And then we'll talk about a bit of text styling because there's quite a lot you can do to text to make it different. So we're just going to go ahead and do that in the next episode. One more thing I want to show you guys is sometimes when you create headers, you might want everything to be uppercase. Now, when we created the navigation up here, we did just write everything in uppercase inside the navigation. But a better way might be to go into your style sheet and do it instead. Because if I have to change a lot of different text everywhere into non uppercase, if I regret doing uppercase, then I'm going to have to go into every single piece of code I wrote everywhere inside my files and change it back. So instead, it's much easier just go in, to go inside your style sheet. So if I were to go inside my style sheet here, what I can do is I can say uh, text dash transform. And then we can go ahead and say uppercase. Save it. And as you'll notice, my text down here, if I zoom in for you guys, becomes uppercased. So this is how we do headers. And the reason you might want to consider doing headers and not using paragraphs all the time, because I see that a lot on people that they just go ahead and use paragraphs for everything. When you do want to make a website, you might want to consider something called SEO optimization, which means that your website becomes more easy to find inside Google when people search for something. And using headers is a better way to do it if you want to SEO optimize your website. So just go ahead and make it a habit to use headers whenever you have a title. So that's all we're going to do in this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys later.